Okay, we had two pounds red clover, three pound cherry vetch, 35 pounds Elbin South cereal rye, 20 pounds spring forage barley, one and a half pounds Florida broadleaf mustard, and one and a half pounds purple top turnip. Let's look at your goals, your objectives, the prior cash crop that you had in there, and then the next cash crop that you're planning to put in. And are you putting a cover crop in simply as a cover crop to keep the ground covered and to maybe provide some nutrients for the next cash crop? Or are you looking for a cover crop that you can also graze? Those are considerations that we must take in mind in designing that cover crop. So once we've determined that, then we want to get down to the nuts and bolts of the actual mix itself. And so the thing that I always do is work on what I call the principle of three. And that means that I want in that cover crop mix a combination of grasses, legumes, and forbs. Now those grasses, if they're cool season, they can be any of the small grains. So we can include cereal rice, we can include oats, we can include barley, we can include triticale, wheat, any of the small grains as our grasses. If they're warm season, then those grasses can include things like sorghum, sorghum sedan grass, sedan grass, various types of millets, and even corn and grazing corn varieties. So in the principle of three, I want three different plant classifications there. I want grasses, legumes, and forbs in every mix, irregardless, every mix, no matter what your objectives are, should include those three. Again, what are our total objectives? So do I want erosion prevention? Do I want nitrogen fixation? Do I want forage biomass production for grazing? Do I want to break up compaction in the soil, break up those hard pan layers? Do I want to build significant amounts of soil microbial mass in the soil? Yeah, and what kind of carbon to nitrogen ratio do I want to establish? This is a whole host of things that we can do. Now, one of the best tools on the market for being able to determine a proper cover crop mix to meet those various objectives is the Smart Mix 4 calculator that you can access through greencoverseed.com. With that particular tool, you can go in and you can type in your zip code and it'll exhibit or illustrate all of the different varieties of grasses, legumes, and forbs that work best for your particular zip code. And they also have gauges located on that Smart Mix calculator that allow you to be able to see the impact that you're having on all the parameters such as biomass production, erosion, nitrogen fixation, carbon to nitrogen ratio, and so forth. And as you add or delete species from that mix, those gauges will show you how that mix is performing for all of those different objectives. The Midwest Cover Crop Council also has some outstanding resources, as does the Burley County Conservation District website. So uh, University of Wisconsin has excellent resource materials, and we have a number of resource materials and tools available through pastureproject.org and our associated partners. So there's a number of different resources you can go to and tap into to help design a proper cover crop mix.